All right, today I wanna talk to you about this charging cart that we we're building in-house. All right, here's our latest rig. This rig is designed to test 60, uh, a little bit more than 60, I think, uh, battery packs, the ES4 scooter packs that go like this. And we wanted to have um, a way to check them to see that they all, they wake up, right? That they charge and then they wake up. And if any of them get hot, then we need a way to do that. So we designed this cart with this uh, extruded aluminum system. I think it's called X-Rail in some parts, but this is just called 2020, it's generic. And then designed some custom PCB board, or boards to connect all of them together and then put them on a timer here so we can charge them. Uh, exactly all exactly at the same time for the same amount of time at the same rate and then if any of them deviate then those are indicators that those packs are going to uh, be trouble because they should behave the same you know roughly about the same and so some of them are off that's because there's could be an issue with bad cells or bad BMS and some other stuff so we're gonna do a uh, full load right now we have uh, this power all by six of the 10 amp uh, power supplies. So this is uh, like a 2000 watt charger right here that we have. Um, we're, we're not charging them quick. We're, we're not charging them fast. It's just, you know, trickle charging them to get them past the point where they will, will wake up and then we can test them. Okay, so here's how you start the timer. You click on here. And as soon as you do that, then you get to see what the charger is putting into the battery packs. These battery packs are at different voltages, but they're all mostly off. So, which means that the MOSFETs in the BMS are off. So the, the packs could be uh, around 30 volts, right? And I think that's probably around 30 volts. That's when the BMS shuts off to try to protect the cells from over discharge. But these have been sitting in a pallet for a long time. So we don't know uh, if the BMS was successful at keeping those batteries at around 30 volts. And uh, once we get a pass 30 volts, then they are able to wake up. So here we go, the first one, and then you try the second row, and then you click the timer. And it's the same thing, that one's climbing up, 27, 28. And also this, the, the, the speed at which this goes up, it's also an indicator of the health of the batteries. They should climb up rather quickly, uh, up to 30, 31, 32 volts, right? If they're sticking around too long below the 30 volts, then that might be an indication that one of these packs is, has a short. So you gotta keep an eye on that too. So timer, here we go. This one starts at 24 volts and it's climbing quickly, 25. 26, uh, let's start another one here, 10, 27 on that one. Another thing we're testing is our uh, AC power supply here, or just from the wall, it should be a 20 amp circuit. So we should be able to do about 2000 watts, 20, 2200 watts, I think. So we'll see if that's true. If we trip the breaker here, then we'll have to find a secondary, uh, circuit to run half of this rig so now all six are going that should be about 2000 watts all right so we did trip some of the breakers on these so you'll definitely need we need two circuits to run this whole thing but once we reach our time limit what we're gonna do is check the thermal camera this camera right here uh, it will give us an indication of a pack that is bad. Sort of like this one you see here. See how everything is pretty uh, standard or is pretty even, except that one. Usually the bad ones will stand up. And this is not bad. It's still like only a few degrees above ambient. But um, if it gets above, you know, 10 degrees, 15, 20 degrees above ambient, in the short amount of time, then we just will take it out and then we will use that to build a battery pack system, right? So after you do that, what 
what ends up happening is that you do this other button here, which is the jump, and that introduces power voltage to the charging uh, circuit of these batteries, right? So jump it, and here we go. Now they're all, they all turn on. Like, see that? That's red, 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 all of them. All 13 of these packs woke up. And now uh, they are blinking red because they're being charged right now. So as soon as this timer runs out, then they're all gonna start turning blue. And if they're all blinking blue, then they all pass the test. If none of them got hot, if they all woke up and they all are blinking red when they're being charged and then they immediately turn into blue blinking lights when you stop discharging them, then that means they are good, they pass all the tests and then we'll take those batteries and then use them to build bigger packs out of these, including some big installation sort of like this one that you can run your entire house or you can run an e-bike or a little go-kart, all kinds of applications that we're using these, right? But this is our little charging cart that we developed in-house here so that we can test uh, more batteries that go out of here, right? So of course these are gonna cost a little bit more because we are having to do all this work for you guys, right? Uh, you can still buy these for the time being from us untested. And so you'd have to do this, right? But we're trying to, we're trying to provide more, um, a better service, right? So for people that don't know how to build this rig, right? Or how to develop the systems or the procedures to be able to test them. This took a little, uh, us a little while to figure out, right? We, we t had to test a few hundred of these packs to be able to finalize a procedure that, that works uh, in eliminating, uh, you know, easily and quickly eliminating any of the packs that are going to be trouble. And so that's our aim here is not to sell less stuff that is going to be trouble for customers and to sell more stuff that they can just use, put it together, build a system, a battery system, then use it for whatever purpose they want to use it. So this is, uh, this allows us to do this. And here we go. We have them all blinking. Some of them are blinking red still because they're being charged by their brethren. Uh, this whole row here is being charged and this whole row is still being charged, but these are all coming, except for these dirty one. I don't think this one made the cut. It's not blinking, so this is probably damage. Everything else seems pretty good now. Seems like we got a good batch of batteries out of this one. All right, so these batteries are available at jack35.com. They're available in the untested version, uh, and they sell for like $100 a kilowatt hour, but they're also available now on the tested uh, version and also these are the cells that we use in the EV4s which is a 751 hour uh, battery pack that uses four of these uh, and they're connected through a uh, PCB board right so it's a bigger battery system that it's already put together and you can use if you're interested in this just head over to jack35.com and then uh, you can get some there all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye